Our loving Heavenly Father, we stand before you in a sacred covenant of love made possible through the sacrifice of your only Son. From this moment forward, may Carlin and Amy allow your presence to permeate every aspect of their lives together. Enter our hearts anew, moving within us as we share in this service of love and worship. Glorify your name through the witness of Carlin and Amy and the marriages represented today. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. My husband, I hope this journal one day will be a family keepsake to show our future generations that this family was built on honest, happy love and many precious moments we never want to forget. Amy Nelson. Marriage is a divine reflection of the relationship that God has with his people. He has a lot to say about it. We're not gonna read all the scriptures, but we're gonna read just a few. Amy, this is the first of many notes of passion, devotion, and love we will write each other in these books. They will be a glimpse into the incredible feelings we get from the other, but could never fully describe the way I feel about you. You, Amy Nicole, are incredible and, and make me so happy when you said yes. Because more than anything, the greatest gift you'll ever give your children is your marriage, a good marriage before them. Hands down, greatest gift you'll ever give them. Nine hours till I am Miss Cry. Dear Carlin, today I get to marry you. That sentence alone gives me goosebumps all over my entire body. My mind is racing on what to write to you this morning, so I'll start with my favorite thing to say to you. I love you. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Three things that are too amazing for me, four that I do not understand, the way of an eagle in the sky, the way of a snake on a rock, the way of a ship on the high seas, and the way of a man with a young woman. You are truly a catch and simply everything I ever wanted in a husband. You make my life worth the struggles and make the good times even better. You're everything to me and I will work every day to make sure you know this. Marriage to me is a river going uphill. We will constantly be collecting things as we go, adding to what we already have. Now today, I am able to share the first moments of our new life together in love as a married couple. Best day of my life with love, me. Okay, you guys can all talk now if you want. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Never forgetting where we were before. There will be plenty of bends, rocks, and slow parts, but plenty of exciting waterfalls too. I know we will continue to grow and change together, and I am so incredibly happy I get to do this thing we call life with you by my side. Let's grow old together, baby, but always stay young and at heart. With love, your soon to be wife. So I want you to understand something, like when you're first dating, girlfriends are like renting cars. Okay, there's not a commitment yet. You take them out for drives, you know, I don't know about this one, you know, okay? Then, then when you get engaged, it's more like leasing, okay? You, you, you have to, it's a commitment, right, okay? But you're not quite there, you haven't purchased the car, right, yet? So I just wanna let you know today, we're purchasing a car, okay? <laughs> this is a commitment now, all right? So, okay, now, now this, is, this is model 2017. So in other words, to keep this model for a long time, there's maintenance. So, recommended check checkups. Remember, this is model 217. You want to keep her going for a long time. Now, I just want to let you know that over time, the maintenance budget will go up. Okay? My wife has told me that after 40 years of marriage. So I just want to give you a heads up on that, okay?
baby. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Yep. Yep. Oh, absolutely. Oh my goodness. I miss you. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Carlin and Amy certainly welcome you all here today. They're so excited for your presence here. We're gathered here before your friends and relatives to witness the marriage of Carlin and Amy who stand before you in love, in trust, and in hope. From the book of Genesis, from the very beginning, the Lord God said, Carlin, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. And the man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. And for this reason a man will leave his father and mother, be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. We celebrate and worship to God who created man and woman for love and companionship. And the covenant between man and woman correctly understood is the divine reflection of the covenant between God and his people. Let's pause and thank God for Carlin and Amy, their families, and the gift of marriage itself. Carlin, will you have this woman, Amy, to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her so long as you both shall live? I will. And Amy, will you have this man, Carlin, to be your wedded husband? to live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him so long as you both shall live? I will. I, Carlin, take you, Amy. I, Carlin, take you, Amy. I, Amy, take you, Carlin. I, Amy, take you, Carlin. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love, honor, and cherish. To love, honor, and cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge you my faith. And thereto I pledge you my faith. With this ring. With this ring. I pledge to love you. I pledge to love you. And commit myself to you. And commit myself to you. Till death do us part. Amy, as you place this ring on Carlin's finger, repeat after me. With this ring, With this ring I pledge to love you, I pledge to you and, commit and commit myself to you till death do us part. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And the Lord turn his face toward you and give you his peace. Amen. Carlin, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Okay, everybody, <laughs> it is my happy privilege to congratulate Carlin and Amy and introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Carlin Cry. Yay! Mr. and Mrs. Crow.